But let's get into the action. So that's Lumia on the left and Mooko on the right. Let's see. Lumia Ahmed does know a few combos. Uh, I saw him fighting in practice. Let's see him pick up some steam here though. Uh, Mukku knows some combos, what did I say? Lumi Ahma I haven't seen play yet. I wanted to practice against him today, but didn't have the opportunity. There we go with a big combo starter all the way. Yeah, but no finish at the end. But that's a lot of damage coming out. I think most of these characters, all of these characters do have a uh, finish at the combo. Yeah, big connection up in the air. So we learn that Wells does have a uh, air dash move coming down. And there we see a time slow, but no extension to the combo. A bit of a wasted opportunity. Connecting with that big combo starter again, 9 hits off the air. Taking a life lead with that. Meters full on well side of the things. And deciding to utilize. Misses the combo opportunity there. Or misses the extension to that super. Mayura, full meter life low. Can do anything, every move please, she pleases. Coming down to the last few hits here. Really close, really close. Casting up those ice crystals into the air, it takes a while to set up. It takes a while to come down on command. And there we saw well punishing those ice crystals. You have to be super safe to do that. Air combo connecting for the start of the second round. So, Lumia will take the first round and starting off strong in the second round. Okay, has a, a triple jump in air. Very flighty character Wells. Coming into that time slot on a block, isn't able to force damage in. Another time slow, jumping in, and goes for the combo. Yeah, extended to 9 hits. And that, I would say, is Moku's bread and butter. That's the combo he has, he's been practicing. If he can connect that another time, Mulumiaha will be in trouble. Well, it's OP and stupid, so it's karma. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, in, our, in our community's case, having broken stuff, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you might have characters that are super high on the tier list and then maybe super OP in some settings, but then it's all on paper. When it comes down to us playing and comes down to the execution, it's going to be a completely different ballgame. So, you know, let's not look at the tier lists too much and let's just see what the players have learned in their practice and what they can pick up during the tournament. Is this Guilty Gear Strive? Hey, it's an anime fighting game. You make your own decision. Besides, uh, we do play these older fighting games, so I'm sure that there is a uh, beta, a big fighting game beta for this week. That's pretty much on everybody's lips. 1-1 one, one, though, and even alive, looking a little bit more tentative. Wells pretty far, or trying to go for that air dash. Punished mid-air. And some nice air dashing play. Now, Moku opting for those mid-air projectiles. Connecting with a ground combo, time X combo star, uh, whatever, what am I saying? Time slow. Is the first two person wildly different from the arcade version of this uh, compared to the PSP? Well, the arcade version, for example, has a practice mode, so I wouldn't expect it to be super, super different. But maybe somebody else will fill you in on that. I don't have that fact on the top of my mind, sorry. Okay, second match, same characters, chat lock, let's go. Six hits. Can he get eight? Yeah, eight hits. Then meeting on that ground ice ball into a big other big combo. Looking for the perfect round. That's not gonna kill yet. Misses the meeting. And that's the yeah, burst. Maximum meter on Lumiahama. That's gonna be zero empty meter at the end of this, but he can spam supers from now on. Some arcade combos don't work on PS2 or PSP. Oh, that's a pity. So, well, the ROMs are easily available online and Fightgate 2 is free for everybody. So, at least for these online matches, it's super easy to get to play on Fightgate 2. If you have problems with that and you want to play on Fightgate, you know, hit me up. I'll explain everything you need to know. As Muku takes the round. So, Lumi Ahmai felt started strongly and Muku has picked up some speed. That looked to be a pretty confident round for Muku here. To start of the second fight with a nice air projectile to get that zoning going. Getting a lot of value out of those ice balls and projectiles. The air tech option is really bonky on the PSP training mode and doesn't take a lot of techable things. Okay, so it appears that the PSP version of the game is different compared to the arcade. Well, that's somewhat to be expected. I mean, 
not every PSP port is perfect. And a little punish on that teleport there. Okay, Lumiaho fighting back, but is far behind on the life meter. Mukko is full up on meter, but hasn't been utilizing that meter super effectively as of yet. Time slow, no connection. I went, I think went was throw, but was too far off. Lumiaho connecting with that air dash, I think that was a cross up. So this is high level play. This burn, Messi Burning is the top level play for Finland for tonight. So don't expect to see much better here from our community. Okay, Lumiahama down and Mukku takes the W there. Good play there. And let's not listen to that anymore. Terrible sounding mess. Okay, that's a problem of 5k2. It's gonna just give you the bzzz sound. It's the B attack. Okay. Melahogi, you want to fight at Mayura? Do you think he's better than you? Well then, you know, if you want to challenge one of our players, uh, do ask for the Discord invite link and see if you want to play some tribbles. Okay, Maddio, Matt, Matt D out X, welcome to the chat, chat as well. So let's see what we have next. That's Mukku up by two, and it's gonna be match number two, Nimnas Earth versus Freyans Rose. So that's gonna be the second of the three matches of the initial winners bracket matches here. So that's going to be Ninlia versus Freya next. Ninlia, of course, being here as video grappler, and on screen will be De Vesta Tuttu or as seen on TV. So that's De Vesta Tuttu. I'll be referring him all the way throughout the match as Ninlia. So that's going to be Ninlia and Freya, and it should be starting up momentarily. So let's see. Freya uh, is going to be displayed as Freya Z. He's looking to play on Fight Kid. Devesa Tuttu Ninlia is also ready there, and the match is starting, so let's pick up the action from the character select screen. So let's see, can we pick up the match? Here we go! We have Rose versus Earth. Is that correct? That's correct, so here we go. And all the burst is set to know in the rules. People do have the option of resetting. If you pick the uh, auto reset by mistake, you are allowed to reset the game and start again. You, of course, keep your wins and losses, whatever they were, but you don't have to fight with that auto. I hate that it's the default option. You always have to remember to set that down. Otherwise, the game is just going to burst, and it doesn't make sense when the game bursts and doesn't, so... Don't love the auto burst option. Ninlia starting over with a air connection there. Doing a big air grab. Rose the Elf, a little out of trouble here. Let's see what Rose has. I did have an opportunity to practice against Ninlia's earth here, so I do know a bit of the moves at there. Love smack. No, in-game audio. What's wrong with the in-game audio? I thought it was all good. Oh, this game is super low. Is that better? Can you hear the game now? Yeah, it was really, really low. I had it on my usual um, game volume. You can hear something? I'm gonna turn it up a little. Is that better? Is that a reasonable volume for you? You should have a little bit of music here while I'm talking still. Yeah, okay. So this game is comparatively low compared to the other games that I've been broadcasting here. And I think the last game I was playing was Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. So I think my sound settings were for Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Of course, I don't like it when the game audio on stream is super loud. But it should be at least on a reasonable level. Sayonara! And now we're gonna see a long, long super by Earth, and it's not even done yet. There we go, now it's finally finished, and now it's just one box city. Yeah, the level 3 connecting. So now we're gonna see some projectile spam and meter spam, but I mean Freyon is in real trouble here. One pixel of health left. Ah, uh, smack, connected me there. And that's two, two rounds, one up for Ninlia. One more left, so Freyon gets one continue. Ninlia loves to jump in fighting games. I love to jump in fighting games, but I think Ninlia's air game is a little bit more on point compared to mine. He can't stand the ground. Well, who can fault him, really? Yeah, he's using level 3. That's right. So let's see. That's a low far reaching poke on Earth. Yeah, look at that wing poke. That hitbox is absolutely huge. And got punished by Rose. And that looked to be a bit of an anti air. Super, connecting. So, a little bit of a life lead with that super. Wasted one, uh, used one meter. I, I almost said wasted, but used one meter for that. Well worth it. 
Go to teleport to avoid an attack and another, but no attack came in. Ningli, of course, has full meter. Itching for that level 3 opportunity. Just waiting for it. And of course, if Ninja connects at level 3, it's almost game over from this health. There, trying for it, got punished. You see that grab, ha, 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 hand come up, and a grab, yeah, that's the level 3, bam. And you know, while we are waiting for this to finish, we can all just go and boil ourselves a pot of coffee. Yeah, it's finally done. So, another level 3 finish. <laughs> Feel like a proud parent? Yeah, Ninja does love that. But I think it's Ninja's weapon of the character. I mean... I discussed the uh, matchup with Ninlia, and he did tell me that Earth doesn't have many tools. If you keep the pressure on him, and if you bring the offense to Earth, Earth is gonna be in trouble. Perhaps also low on anti-air options. So what you wanna do is you wanna bring the action to Earth, you don't wanna let him get off those level 3s. You can legally have children, and one of them is an Earth man. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, adoption papers, depending on your country of origin, I, I suppose adoption papers are pretty easy to write up. So look into that, you know, when you want to. I'm sure Ninja would love another prop parent. Alright, let's get back to the action. Super connecting. Oh, he's not, that's a weird looking connection. But a bit of a poke. And some other pokes. With Earth, you should play careful and not near to Earth. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's the level 3. So, I think we saw... What, what was that? Uh, three level 3 finishes? Uh, wham! Rose is down. Blim! And that's all she wrote. That's gonna be 2 up, 2 nil, Ninlia on that level 3 play. Stop, she's already dead. Universal Quantifier, welcome to the chat. Happy to have you here. Okay, with those matches out of the way, it's my turn to get my ass kicked by Mukkus Majora. Uh, I did fight today on practice against Mukku. And what I learned was, I can beat him, but situationally, he may be the better player. But let's see, let's go. Now, since I'm playing, I won't be able to talk as much. So don't feel left out. I'm gonna try my best here, if nothing else. So, me versus Mukku, let's go. Yukemi there didn't actually help me too much. I don't think anybody's playing Orochimaru, no. And that cross up didn't connect. Too bad. No wrong distance. No, <laughs> oh no, too slow. Almost had it. Oh man, that was close. 
That was super close. I did okay. I did okay. Let's go again. Let's go again. Fun fight. Chase. Crap. No use. Mukus changed his game plan. He's going for these fireballs more. No. Oh no. Uh, you can hear Mike be okay. Super. for that. Oh, I was kind of a little hopeful on that air jump on the Dragon Punch uh, motion. Mukuri Deso to into the super. Yep. Like I said, he's been practicing. Got the chase. Yeah, he's gonna hurt. Come on! I like my poke in. I'll go close fight though. This is not it. Ouch. That connected, but didn't help me much. I'm not dead yet. There we go, got the route in. Final round. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay, that's a good offense. Should have caught up all the uh, standing B there. All the way? Not all the way, too bad. I wanted to teleport over that fireball and I weaved the input, so that's 2 nil for Mukku. But it was kinda close, so happy to have the fight there. GG Mukku. Alright, that's the uh, that's the uh, winner's preliminaries done, and we're gonna move to the uh, fourth match, which is gonna be the uh, loser's bracket, and that's gonna be Frames Rose and Lumiyama's Wells. So let's see when that match is gonna pop up. Money is on Mukku. Smart money would be on Mukku, I suppose. Although, hey, Ninlia might surprise. Of course, we are not playing for real money here, but hey, bets are accepted. And if you want to give me money for empty promises, you know, feel free. And you can just, you know, send me cash if you want, even. And I'll just keep the books, you know. No need to ask for the results. Yeah, we're playing for big, big SVG money, for sure. But there are prizes. I want to attend these online. There are prizes. And uh, the prize for this week's tournament is a, a free drink coupon at the Safe File restaurant in Tampere, Finland. So there is a prize for this. And of course, for this series of tournaments, uh, for every second place finish, you're gonna, gonna get a bucket point. And at the end of the season, the player with the most points is gonna win a bucket of their own. So there are prizes for this season and for these tournaments especially. And I think the drink coupon is at least, I think it's almost 8 euros, 6, 8 euros like that, is not totally worthless. Of course you have to go to Tampere to redeem that, but hey, there's a reason to go to Tampere and check out the local fighting gang scene there. 
Sparrow always puts up $20 in tournaments. Yeah, I know people do that. And I've seen a lot of the fighting game tournaments these days, they like add cents to the prize pool for every like social media interaction or what have you just to get their numbers and you know whatever like that up, the participation up and all that good stuff. So some people do kind of like increase participation with money. We haven't done that and I personally I don't think I'm gonna put any more of my money in this. I've sponsored a few prizes for these games as well. So I think I've sponsored three entries to the uh, what's that? Sugoi Arcade in Finland. That's the only free play arcade in Finland. And that way that way, you know, I've, I've sponsored three entries to the arcade for winners of some games. But we are not doing entry fees. I mean, we have five players. Eight is a lot for us. I think 11 or 10 is our maximum ever from last season. So adding a uh, entry fee to that, we would have to make it global and we do want to keep it loving. Anyway, let's get back to the action here with Lumiama. Down for the count. Yeah. That's one up the frown. I would love to see Wells perform here. Uh, Lumia get a W in here. Would be would be nice. Hurricane, block. I got a challenge in. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the challenge. So sorry about that huge sound effect there. I'm just gonna make myself not available. Yeah, that was loud. Sorry for the uh, ear rape on everybody on the earphones. I should do something about that. Windows notifications and background windows sound effects being what, what they are. <laughs> Sorry. So, Rose in the corner. Taking some pressure, but not much chip damage. He's able to punish. Man. We are putting some work in. Rose is full up on meter though, and a nice air connection there. Now, gets the hit in on the ground, I thought it was blocked. Seeing a lot of these lightning strikes being blocked by Freon, so there's that coming down to the wire though. And the air con hit connects, Lumiama takes it 1-1. Nice close fighting. This is first to two, so. This is not the last round of it, but happy to see close fighting. Okay, look at this combo connecting, trying for another one. Gets the early lead, half the meter down. And of course, Lumiama has maximum supers available. Freya's Y, low on both meters. Lightning, not connecting. Not punished, but the cross off, the cross off connects to a couple of hits, super not connecting. Nice anti-air there, followed up, pushes. Push as well into corner. Yeah, Lumiama is using his meter, but not using his meter super effectively. But at least, you know, he doesn't let resources go to waste. Those are a little bit... I would say those are hopeful supers. And I don't think those are gonna work too well against Frey on here. Not tonight. But he's now within poking distance. And Lumiama takes the first win here. Yeah, extra credits all the way to 9. I don't think we're gonna need 9 credits for this, but hey, here's hoping. So, 1 up, Lumiyama. I'm looking for that match point. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Yeah, starting off with the same air attack there. A wasted super, what's the punish? No thing, because there's an immediate anti-air after the super. Good play there by Freyan. Good play. I mean, Lumiaho was running in, thinking about what he might do to punish that Wift Super. And immediately Freyan going for that wake up anti air. Well, it's not a wake up, but you know what I mean. Switching sides. Not connecting on that airhead. Trying for it again. Lumiyama is jumping quite a bit here, quite a bit, but of course he does, does have at least a couple of air dashes or these dive-ins. Another lightning, another hopeful lightning, this time punished, but not very effectively. Now all even on health, Lumiyama bursts, can now utilize the lightning to his heart's content. Now come on, shoot the lightning, come on, you, you know you wanna, you've been doing it 
So now's the time you have infinite meters. What about the punish now? Nope, same as last time. Is that the last hit of the super instead of a regular anti air move? But still, that's the second time that Lumiama eats the same last hit when deciding on the punish. Be that as it may, it might just be enough. Just a few more hits, two pixels of health left, and there's the poke. Lumiama now on a match point. Friends way fighting for their life, loser going home. Starting off with three hits. Now in the corner. No pressure. An easy, easy jump out for Lumiama. With that exchange, Prayer is a little bit ahead here. Definitely now. It's not collecting any of those little sword icons. That counter keeps on being on zero. I wonder what it does. Yeah, like I said, I don't have any encyclopedic knowledge of this game, so uh, it appears that Rose does have a, another resource that ticks up from zero. Wonder what makes it go up though. None of these moves, obviously. Right, full meters on both. Low on life. Rose ready to do level threes. Uh, maybe not. Wells on zero meter, actually, Rose on full meter. We have seen Freon go for those specials at least a couple of times, but not been able to connect those, except for the last hit, as an anti-punish hit. Come on, Freon, keep fighting. Get that hit in. Get that hit in, come on. Oh no! Lumiama takes it 2-0, and Freon's boy goes home. That's gonna mean that I get to fight Freon here. So I get another opportunity to redeem myself. Let's see how it's gonna be. I'm ready for that looking to play challenge. Let's see if I get challenged by Freon. It might be that we do instead the winner's match here next, but that's not perhaps the best option when we have five people. So let's see what the uh, next match is. It should be, I got in the bracket, me versus Lumiyama. I am ready to be challenged. Lumiama is there on the uh, not available side of things. So let me rehydrate myself here while I'm waiting for that match to start. Mm, invisible water, the best kind. Yep. Are we gonna have a fight? We should. We should have a fight. But Lumiama is not ready yet. Let me add him. Okay, I've add him on a fight gate. We should have the match coming up here momentarily. Yep. Let's go. Yeah, you're up again. Let's go. Challenge accepted. Where can you buy invisible water? You're gonna need a blue screen and a blue water bottle. Available in any hardware store for both items. But let me tell you, invisible water is delicious. Let's go. Okay, that's a multi hit thing. Ouch. Crappy on time. Did I connect? That's not gonna work. And that's not gonna connect. Yeah, I got the first round in. At least I'm using my meters.
dropped it. What up here? Went for the fireball. Was too hopeful there. Oh man. Shouldn't have. Should have jumped over that if that's jump overable. Was a little too far. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's hurting. Just barely. One more. Let's go. Let's insert the credit there just in case. Maybe we need it. Didn't press a button. Copy that. I didn't. Little hopeful there. Oh, he's gonna jump in. What a bit. Should I have done it? I was feeling hopeful. He he had jumped in. I was going on the jumping. Okay, much point. Final round. Ready? Go. Ouch. Nice shot. Wanted to jump over it. Oh, I had the back jump input already there. Well, we needed that credit. Happy I did input it in time. Let's go. Best of three. Last match. Let's go. Choose the no. Yes, remember to do it. There we go. No or the burst. Okay, I don't have an I'll reach answer to that move yet. What's that?
Did I eat that? Did I press a button there? Or was that chip? I hate it when that happens. I thought I could, you know, just continue the, the game from there. Oh, oh, that's new. I'm done for. Yeah, okay, that last combo hurt and actually took me down. I had a good fight there though. Could have had it. But I think I lost my pacing there in the last match. Got outplayed in the last. Wow, that was a good round by Lumiama and definitely learned something while I was playing. Good round. Uh, that means I'm out. Unfortunate, but hey, that was a uh, fun fight. I did enjoy that. Man, that stings. Could have taken it. 2 1. Definitely wanted to take it though. Mm. Well, let's not dwell on the losses and let's get ready for the next fight. That's gonna be Mukus Mayura versus Ninlias Earth. So that's going to be the uh, winner's semis. Coming up next here. Yeah. Play. Ninlia, there on the fight gate, not available but should be starting soon. Playing now. Let's go. Let's join the game as soon as we can. Should get it in on the character select screen. Let's see. Here we are. All Frost Fury versus the Holy God Earth. All the best, no. Round one, let's go. Yeah, looking at this background here, that's a lot of dithering on those clouds, and it looks like ass on my CRT, on my LCD screen, and uh, those graphics are definitely meant for CRTs, and I think it will create a um, nice transparency effect for the background, but whenever you're running this on a tube, on an actual cathode ray tube, you are just running this on the crystals, the backgrounds are gonna look, look like ass. So this would probably be a pretty sweet looking background on a proper arcade cabinet. Here on the emulation side of things, doesn't look that nice. So let's see if Mukus Mayura is brave enough. Avoid that crap! He's far away for that other crap not to me. Earth made a strange move to avoid crystal. Mm -hmm. And I suppose Nimia does have an interesting fighting style on this game. But Mukku played a solid round with Myra. Did not let that level 3 connect? Nimia told me in practice that he's not gonna waste his meter on anything except for those level 3s, and there we see another attempt. Time slow, not useful. A little bit harmful, also. Jumps back to avoid that big grab. Let me see the uh, attempt there again with a huge raised up claw. How about some damage, Mayura? There we go. How many hits is that? Oh, continues with a super 9 hits for big damage. And gets the combo start all the way. All the way, but no special finish. So, definitely taking a lead here, more quiz. Nearly not able to jump over that projectile. Time is slowing another projectile, not so useful. Okay. Nearly goes for the infinite meter. Second crap connecting. Level 3. Let's wait for this to be over. Is this gonna kill? It's gonna be close. If it doesn't, it's gonna kill. Buddha, 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 Buddha. Yep. And that's Earth's thing. You can be ever so low on health. Get that big hit in and you're gonna turn the round around. So that's what you have to look out for when playing against Ninlia's Earth. And this, I suppose, would be Mukku's special combo. Biggest so far. So both players do have some tech prepared for this fight. Love to see it. Six hits. 
Mid air for the servant. Tries to meet with that. Ice crystal on the ground. Doesn't get caught out by the grab. Needs to do some damage here though. Cannot get hit while Earth is touching. Okay, meter's done. No, nearly in real trouble. No tools left. And gets caught out by the low kick. Yeah. One up, move. Ninlia inputting a few more credits for good luck and goes for that continue button. There we go. Match number two. Let's see if Earth can connect enough of those level threes to survive Mukku's pressure. By the way, while we are here, before the finals, I'm just gonna ask for follows one more time. So if you do feel like enjoy, if you do enjoy fighting game content, or perhaps Monster Hunter Premium Night, or are interested in old arcade titles. Do consider leaving a follow for the channel, that helps a lot. And if you don't wanna, and you just wanna sit there and watch, that's fine too, no pressure there. But just asking, okay? Alright, back to the action. What do we do with a lucky punishing air grab? Yeah, when it comes to luck in these games, I kind I'm of the opinion that you kinda make your own luck. You do, you know, you do, you make your tries and you do your best and you do this and you do that and sometimes it's gonna connect, right? So, you make your own luck. That, of course, maybe not a lucky connection on that level 3 because Nimlia all the time goes for it, but hey, he got it. So, connected there. And down goes Mayura. Starting off things with a low kick. Or oh, is that a sweep, maybe? Might be a sweep. At least it's got a huge reach. Teleport into a slam. Gets punished. And a throw there in the corner. Is that a command throw? No, it's a, it's a meter, meter move. Yeah. That's another one though. That's gonna hurt. So, Mayura in trouble in the corner. Is very much under pressure by those grabs by Earth. So, Ninlia taking out of that level 3s only. Maybe it's a conditioning play. He is conditioning his opponent to wait for those level 3s, and now when they are only waiting for that level 3, he's gonna switch up his game plan and take a sneaky W in. So, good play there by Ninlia. It's all 1 1. Let's see who goes to the loser's bracket to try again against Lumiyama, and who gets to go straight to the winner's finals. It comes down to this fight. And then we have the password on screen if you want to copy that and get absolutely no value, well, it's still there for you. Not a super useful password, I think. And it wastes a lot of screen real estate. I would prefer that to be an op op you know, something in the game over screen and not something in the fight screen. But hey, okay. there's the breaks. Arcade games with passwords. Pretty much, pretty soon after this, arcade games transitioned into memory cards, so you didn't need passwords or any other shenanigans like that anymore. Mokku again in that corner, not happy to be there. Gets the push away. Oh, it's teleport. Yeah, wins in there, but gets hit on the landing. One up. Match point on Nilia. Big hat there. Trying for that level 3. Oh, you copied the uh, password? Love it. Next time I play, I'll be sure to input it. And everybody else following at home, also free a load on the chat. Two matches there. Anybody, anyway, anybody else playing along at home, you wanna enjoy this exact situation of the game? There's a nice cool password for you to do exactly that. The value of it? Questionable. Okay, the tables have turned, and now Moku is bringing in the corner pressure. Ninja did mention that Earth is a difficult character to play under pressure, but look at that connection. Slam. Good value out of that throwing game for Earth. Meter still left, and a big grab. You legit fired up the game 10 minutes before the tournament started? You didn't even know what the game looked like. Hey, welcome to the club. No, actually, I did have one or two practice sessions before the uh, tournament started. So I did uh, check out, try out my buttons and try to learn a little bit of the game. But I wouldn't consider myself a veteran of the game either. 
But at least what we're seeing here is the game evolves as it, as it progresses. Okay, match point for both. This is 1 1 situation, and both have one round. Loser of this goes to loser's bracket. Winner goes to the finals. But, you know, we are seeing evolving gameplay. Players are getting more familiar with their characters with every button press and with every exchange. So, gameplay is getting better. That is a difference in this match compared to the one we saw the first time these players met, right? Oh, well, of course, they didn't fight each other yet. But what I mean is, I think there is a difference between Muku's play compared to the first time he fought and Ninja's play the first time he fought. So, both players learning and picking up things as they go. Nice cross up there on the air dash. Getting a time slow, going for that super meter. And it's well, well worth the meter use. Ninja, meter spent. Gets parried. Wham, wham. And an air grab connecting. That's not gonna be enough damage. Muku will need a few pokes only. Also has one segment of meat left, so can finish it with a combo. And there we go. Muku takes the W and goes to the finals. Ninlia goes to the loser's bracket and gets another opportunity to face Lumiahama. Ninlia and Lumiahama haven't fought before. Lumiahama got dropped early against Mukku, beat Freyan in the losers, beat me in the losers 2-1 and now has to face Mukku's Mayura. So Lumiahama has had the most experience of these fighters in this tournament. So let's see what Lumiahama picked up from the match against me and whether that faster paced gameplay is going to work well against Ninlia's Earth. So I definitely want to see Lumiahama play that fast paced gameplay that he brought against me in the last match, not the gameplay he brought against me in the first match, okay? So let, here's hoping for that. That's gonna be the uh, losers semis, and the losers, oh, well, you might go to losers finals if you will, but the winner of this is gonna go to the grand finals. And as it is a, a double elimination formula, what's gonna happen there, if you are coming for the winner side of the bracket, one first to three is gonna be enough for you to take a championship at the prize. But if you're coming from the loser's bracket, you have to win it two times. Okay, so there's the rules. Now let's pick up the actions action here on the loser's semis. The Gust of Wind, Wells versus the Holy God, Earth. All the bosts, no. And a little bit of the invisible water here. Shoutouts to invisible water. Round one, let's go. Yeah, Lumiahama taking taking the uh, offensive stance here and bringing those attacks against Earth. As long as he doesn't get caught out by a surprise level three, things are looking up for him. And Wells as a character seems to have quite a bit of quite a few options while me there. So, should have good tools unless he gets caught out by that big air grab that Earth has. A whole full super there. And the grab enough to finish things for Earth. Okay, one round, Ninlia. Round two, let's go. Some air dashing play. Well, the other guy is, you know, a master of the wind gusts and the other guy is a flying guard, so you would expect to see some airplay here, right? And for whatever reason, these guys are fighting on a pirate ship, but hey, that's fighting games for you. Pro connecting. Oh, we're gonna see that level 3. We might, we might. It's looking a little tentative. That forward dash into that big swing attack worked for Ninja the first time, but didn't work the second time. Well, I'm not able to predict the same move. Doesn't work twice in a row. It's a staff, I think, that the Earth is wielding. Wham, wham. Alright. Full meter 
on Lumiahva and gets the combo start that goes all the way. 1-1. One, one. Good use of that burst. Go to round win on it. Now, of course, we'll need to build up some more meter for the last match. But hey, Lumiahva needed that W. First hit, let's go to Lumiahva again. Lots of air play here. Learn, we have learned to block low there against Ninlia. I think Ninlia prefers to go for low attacks on the ground. Maybe that's a conditioning thing for his level 3 again. Maybe it has to be blocked high. Oh no, you cannot block it high. But if you stand, you know, stand to block, you're gonna get to go down by. Too late on lightning. The claw came out, but I think you have to send out that lightning when you see that claw come out and hit it. You know. When the attack is coming in, not when it's finished. Okay. Ultimate's in, or burst is in. Lumiahma needs that combo starter. Goes for hopeful. Oh, connects on the hopeful. Meter spent. So Lumiahma got one big connection there on that burst. Ninlia with full meter left. Yeah, Lumiahma avoiding that level 3. All the players here know Ninlia's game plan by now, but that's not enough as Ninlia takes the first W. Extra credits for extra luck. Let's go. So, first to into Ninlia. Bumi Arma needs to have two more matches to proceed to the finals. Bakana! If you want some time to fill out your tax reform, tax return forms, now's the time. It takes a while to finish that level 3. Nice connection there, by the way, in there. So all you need to do is win the round now. That throw is gonna do it. Yep. Ninja's game plan, working beautifully. Let's see if he can recharge his meter to win this round. Ninlia definitely not the one to let meters go to waste here in this game. While Ninlia doesn't have his meter off, I think now it's Lumiahma's time to strike and try to force in some damage in that corner. Well, got thrown. And another. All even. Good use on that meter. Definitely wants to pressure Ninlia here. Connects on that hopeful wind gust. Can we have another please? Now both players on burst, but Ninlia has more burst left. Let's see if there's a big connection here. Ninlia is wasting a lot of time here. We'll have to utilize his resources. Ah, oh, burst is almost done. Burst is done. No value out of it. No meter left on either player. Should be, perhaps, Lumiahua's advantage. But it's coming down to the wire. Uh, that uh, that connects now in poking distance. Lumiahma should be able to get one bit of meter in to force some damage in. But the poke will do it. 1 1. Lumiahma hanging on for dear life, as it's still Ninja's match point. Air grab connecting. And I uh, guess the first time Ninja connected with the crown slam. Okay, that's another. We didn't go for another slam after the uh, air throw connected. But hey, those air, air grabs do hurt, and Earth's grabs in general do hurt, so that's quite a bit of damage. A lot of blocking play here. That's not gonna be a lot of meter, okay. Burst coming in from Lumia might do or die now. We'll have to connect here, otherwise it's gonna be all Shibro for Lumiahma. That's a hopeful wind cast, it's not gonna work, but he could go for another. Should have gone for another there, since that grab would have been punished. Ninja hits that grab button, connects, and takes the win. 
it's going to be Ninlia moving on from the losers bracket to the finals. So that's gonna be at least one more match coming your way for the finals. That's gonna be Mukus Mayura and Ninlia's Earth. Mukku. Two wins enough. If Ninlia wins two, it's a bracket reset, and then it's gonna be first to two for the grand finals prize. So let's see who gets the uh, drink coupon for the safe file restaurant in Tampere, Finland. We should have the match starting up immediately. I don't think there's gonna be a rest break for either of these warriors. Chedio Zero, thank you for the follow. It helps the channel grow and it's that much closer to my affiliate and lets me customize my emojis. So looking forward to that. I'm ever so close. I think I'm at 45, 44, something like that. It's gonna be, you know, this or a few more streams and I'll have that affiliate. So thank you for the follow. It does help. I do appreciate it. Come on, where's the match? Time for me to have my last little bit of hydration here before the fight. Alright, here we go. Mukku on the left, Ninlia on the right. It's Fury. Holy God. Let's go. We are waiting on no selection by Ninlia. Yeah, keeping us in suspense. Grand Finals, first try. Round one. Ready? Go. Let's get ready to rumble. Both players have had the opportunity to see each other play. Nice connection there, 8. Leave some damage. Bagana, level 3 connecting. But Mukku is still going to have a life lead and will have a meter lead after this. So it's not game over for Mukku, even with that connection, but it does bring Ninlia back into the fight. Mukku will have to connect here. Doesn't. Still has one more meter left. Coming down to the next big connection. Next big combo. Muk will need to get that combo starter in. Ninlia would like to get that grab in. No air grab. Just the air button there. No combo starter either. Projectiles working for Ninlia. Now within splashing range. Muk should use that meter now. When he knows that it will chip. What about the wake up? No, get scrapped. No wake up there. And Ninlia, by the skill of his teeth, takes the first round. That was close. Hook was being a little careful there. Yeah, combo starter blocked. No continuation. The angel of robbery. You think so? Well, it's not as good as clutch for it was. Air combo connecting, no special finish. Yeah, and another aircraft connecting. Ninlia is certainly getting a lot of value out of those crabs. Now Moku getting some value out of the meter. Ninlia itching for the level 3. Itching for the level 3. Just waiting for his opportunity. And it would be enough to take home the win. Well, it would be the first match win, but still. Definitely looking for that level 3. Moku goes for the... Uh, only 7 hits. I was... I was going to say that he's gonna go for the uh, 9 hit with the uh, super at the end, but didn't get to have, didn't have the chance to do that. Gets a punish though. How about the 9 hit now? Not only the 8 hit variation, and the meaty orb goes too far behind the character, doesn't really help. Gets the low hit in. Now any hit will do, and that little ground kick gives Moku the round. Final round of the first match. Let's go. It's 
all even. Except that Ninja's Earth has that full meter and level 3 available to it, while Muku is low on meter 1 bar left. Well, that's good enough for an extended combo. There we go. Six hits on it. Pity, Muku dropped it. Ninja, changing his game plan a little, decides to use his meter. Maybe he thinks he can still get it back to full before the round is done. But not as reliant on that level 3 as before. Good to see. Meat is on the corner. Those have to be blocked. Ice teleport, not punished. Not a super useful teleport, I feel. Maybe it's good enough for some certain projectile attacks, or maybe getting out of the way of certain supers, but it's a risky looking teleport. Nice connection there on that mine, followed up with a two second hit on the fireball, or whatever orb that is. And a nice punish on the grab attempt. Mukku takes home the W, so it's one up Mukku. Inching ever closer to that match point here in the grand finals. Match 2 coming away immediately. All the players remembering their autoburst no setting, that's good. We know how to get a reset here. Yeah, Earth is a talky guy. Pass the chat before the match starts. Alright, that's correct. Weird looking thing weird looking hitboxes, but I think Earth extended his hitbox and Mayor was able to punish off of some winglet or something. Three hit combo on the ground. Combo in a cast start, not connecting. Combo. Fuck it there. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. India went for it three times. Didn't work the first time, didn't work the second time, and it also didn't work the third time. Teleport away! Okay, now there's the utility. Thank you, Mukko. I was wondering about the teleport, but you can also use it to teleport away from your opponent, so there's the utility of that move. Are we gonna see the ass 8 hit? No, we're not gonna see the 8 hit. 7 hits. But Mukko in a good position here. Doesn't wanna get caught out by the level 3 though. Ah, <laughs> try it for it. Well, I'm hooking, no problem. You can take your time to do things whenever you feel like. We are in the finals. Muku is up by one. So this is the uh, second match of the finals. This is a match point for Muku. And that's gonna be the uh, game and match point for Muku. Six, seven, eight hits all the way. Ten with that corner connection. Half of Nilia's life done. Excellent combo there by Mukus Mayura. Nilia having a little bit of trouble. A little bit of a problem in bringing that pressure to Mayura. He wants to breach the distance and wants to get a little close. But Mukko is giving no quarter even when they get close. Level 3, connecting. Not going to be enough to kill this time, I don't think. That can't be it. Yeah, it's a lot of damage though. Now Mukko will have to utilize his resources here. Wants to use those meters. That's gonna be it. The combo in again. Enough to take the W here, as Mukku takes his second win and is our grand finals winner. So, thank you for all our players. First place Mukku and a bucket point for Nindia. Collect the most points during the season and get a free bucket. Them are the rules and Mukku gets a free coupon for the restaurant in Tampere. OG Complex, thank you for the follow. Like I said, 